confused as to why this is wrong. Teacher said I need to use the product rule on this, but I thought I did. Also said after I use the product rule, I need to use the chain rule and take the derivative of the inside function, which I also thought I did. So for your answer here, remember the product rule is the following. When we take the derivative of a product of two functions, let's say f times g, we will get, we first keep the first function, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second, which is g prime. And then we add the second function, and then we multiply by the derivative of the first, so f prime. So it looks like you only did the first part. You didn't do the second part. And now, let me go through this with you. For this right here though, I will break it down for you guys as follows. We have 2x, let's take that to be the first function. And then this right here, let's take that to be the second function. It will be easier if I break this down. I will put down this as little f. This f and that f are different. It's just the notation issue, right? So here, 2x. That's the first function. And then the second function is the g function. I will put this down right here, which is all that. And then I will just write it down again. x to the fourth in the parentheses and then plus sine of 3x. All these are in the parentheses. And then we have that one third power. Break them apart. The beauty is that once you have this by itself, just differentiate it. f prime equals the derivative of 2x is just a 2, yeah? Then we look at this and then take the derivative. g prime, that will be equal to. We have this to the one third power, so let's go ahead, bring the power to the front, and then minus 1 because of the power rule. We have one third in the front, and then remember for all this right here, it will stay inside, so we will have x to the fourth power plus sine of 3x and then one third minus one we get negative two thirds and i need that parentheses right here but this is not it yet because we still need the chain rule so as you can see if you are just focused on this part it's easier to follow along for the chain rule we are going to multiply by the derivative of the inside so now let's put this down. What's the derivative of x to the fourth power? It's just what? 4x to the third power. Good. Now, what's the derivative of the sine of 3x? Well, first we will have to add because the derivative of sine is positive cosine. So let's put that down, cosine. And then the input here, we have 3x. Let's keep it like so, and then close parentheses already. But there's one more thing. I know this is really tricky. I just kind of calm down, relax, and be careful. The one last thing is that you have to look at the inside right here. The derivative of sine of 3x, it's not just cosine 3x. Multiply by the derivative of 3x, which is 3, multiply that right here. So this right here could be pretty tricky. Again, this little part is just the derivative of sine of 3x. You first take the derivative of sine, you get cosine, and the input stays the same, and then you multiply by the derivative of 3x, which is that 3. So that's what we have. And then once you have this, I think it's so much easier. This is how I like to teach my calculus one students as well. We are just going to construct the answer together. This times this. Right, so now we can write down this f prime, which is the official f of x. This is just the notation to help us do this. Here we go. f prime of x, we will have this times all that. So that's this first part, you see? And then we're just going to do this times that and add it with the first part. g times f prime, product rule. All right, here we go. 2x times all this, 2 times 1 third, we can write yes, 2 over 3. And then we have this x, and then just write down the rest. 
So parentheses and then x to the fourth plus sine of 3x, close parentheses, close parentheses, raised to the negative two third power times all that, which is 4x to the third power plus 3 cosine of 3x, close, close. Okay, and then we have to add the original g function times the derivative of the blue f. So let's put on two first right here, and then the rest, which is x to the fourth plus sine of 3x, and then raised to the positive one third power. So I believe this right here should be it. Mm, there's nothing much that we can do unless you can bring this down to the denominator and then try to combine the fractions but it depends on how your teacher wants you to do it. I think this right here should be a fair answer. So let's go ahead and box this and hope this right here helps. That's it.